Hello everyone, I am Nabil Murad. I just read a tweet by Bill Jalen, Mr. Excel, saying that these days we are celebrating the 35th anniversary of the index function, which was announced in September 1985. And because I'm a big fan of this powerful index function, I wish to contribute to the celebration by creating this crawling table that displays 10 rows out of a source list which could have thousands of rows, and I'll be using the index function for this project. You can use this functionality to show the full source list in a limited space for a dashboard or just to save some real estate of your worksheet. Here is my start file. You can download the exercise file and follow along by clicking on the link below this video. In this worksheet, I have seven columns, a date, a category, a region, a payment, cost, sales, and profit. And I do have some transactional records, and I want to find out how many records I have. So I select the first record, I hit Control down arrow, and I end up at row number 319, which means excluding the header row, I have 318 records. I want to jump to the top, I hit the shortcut Control up arrow, and here I want to start by copying the header row. So I click and drag to select the cells from B1 to H1. I copy, Control C, and I want to paste it right next door, so I hit Control V. I want to be able to see 10 rows at a time out of the source list, and with a scroll bar, I can select different 10 rows and so on. So the first thing I want to do is to create a scroll bar, which requires having the developer tab of the ribbon. If you don't have it, just right click on any tab, select customize the ribbon, and from the Excel options dialog box, check the box for developer. On the developer tab, I click on the down arrow for insert in the controls group, and I want to create a scroll bar control. I click on scroll bar control, and then on the worksheet, I click and drag to create my control. I want to format this control and link it to a cell in the worksheet, so I right click and select Format Control. The Format Control dialog box opens and I'll be setting some values. For the current value, I'll set it to 1. I hit Tab. For the minimum value, I set it to 1. And for the maximum value, I set it to 309. And then I hit tab for the incremental change, I keep it to 1. And then for the page change, I set it to 25. I hit tab, and I want to link my scroll bar to cell I1. I click on I1, but before hitting OK, I want to explain why did I set the maximum value to 309. Always the maximum value is set to the number of records, and I do have 318 minus the number of rows that will appear in my list, which is 10 plus 1. So if this list displays 309 at the top row, then if you keep counting, including the first and last record, 309, 310, 311, and so on, then row number 10 will be the last row from my source list. I hit OK, and now I'm ready to create my index function. I click and drag to select the whole range. I just want to select 10 rows. And then I start creating my index function. Equal index. And then I hit tab. The index function requires an array. And the array, from the perspective of the cell in which I'm creating my function, will be the date in column B. I select the first value. And then I hit shift control down arrow. I want to jump back to the top without locking, so I hit the shortcut control backspace. I don't want to lock the column letter because I want it floating. So when this function moves to the right, it will be picking up the array for the category. Then it will be picking up the region and so on. What about the rows? I want the starting row number, number two, to be floating, but the ending row should be locked. So I put my blinking cursor in the second cell reference, and then I hit F4 twice. Now I hit comma. My next argument, the row number, will be the number returned by the scroll bar, which is linked to cell I1. I select it. I want to lock this cell reference I1. I hit F4, and then I close the bracket. When I hit Control-Enter, I would have extracted 10 rows. 
Before I test, I want to copy the formatting from my source list. So I click and drag to select the first row. And then on the Home tab, I click on Format Painter. Then I go to the destination. And then I click and drag to select the 10 rows. And when I release, I would have formatted the 10 rows. Now I can hide the source list. I don't need it anymore. So I'll be selecting from column B to column I. Right click and hide, and now I'm ready to test. So if I click on the down pointing arrow, I see different trackers extracted from the source list. I can click on the page change to move 25 rows at a time. I can select different rows by clicking on the top pointing arrow or by clicking on the down pointing arrow. If you want to improve the legibility of this list, you can apply conditional formatting. I'll be applying some banded colors for the rows. That would require using the mod function with the row function. So if I type equal row, and then I hit tab and I close the bracket. What does the row function do? The row function is extracting the row number. So it's an incremental number. If I put it inside a mod function that divides this number by two and return the remainder, then I get alternating zeros and ones. So if I put it in the edit mode and wrap it in a mod function, the mod function will take the row as a number and then comma, I want to divide it by two. My divisor is two. I close the bracket and hit control enter. As you can see, I get alternating zeros and one. When there is a one, the conditional formatting will pop up. When there is a zero, the conditional formatting will disappear. Let's copy this function, control C, and then I'm going to delete this entire column. I don't need it. I select the whole range where I have my list. I go to the home tab, click on the down arrow for conditional formatting, select new rule. I want to use a formula. I paste this function in the formula box, control V, and I say, if it is equal one, I want to change the fill color. So I click on format, click on fill, and let's select a light green color. I hit okay twice. And when I do that, I will see the matching color. And I finished creating my nice project, which shows me 10 records out of a source list that might include thousands of rows.